just made it to the Capitol Creek Trailhead. Capitol Creek. Capitol trailhead. Creek. This is the trailhead you start here when you climb Capitol itself, but we aren't doing that today. Nope. We're going to do a backpacking trip to uh, Capitol Lake right at the foot of it. Yeah, looking at the west face of, of Capitol. I went up there on a little day trip. What is that? Two years now? Three years mm -hmm. now? Two years ago. Two years ago. And uh, we've been talking about coming back and spending the night and shooting Astro and Sunset because we were kind of late afternoon when we were up there before. So we're excited to do a sunset, astro, sunrise. I mean, you know, maybe we won't get that much, who knows, but it's... Uh, <laughs> well, already the lighting's really nice. It's, yeah, uh, there's no clouds, but the lighting is always nice. It's that autumn light that you can't, mm. I can't get enough of. But. Oh yeah, and the aspens already look, I'm super amped. These are like my, like, it's like a bigger deal than Christmas <laughs> every year. <laughs> All right. Christmas for Toby. We'll see you uh we'll see you on the trail. So needless to say, the trees this year have their spots of being amazing. I was actually concerned about it because there were reports that it's been really dry and really smoky in Colorado this year. It's been really dry and really smoky all over the West this year. And uh, it doesn't really, there was a lot of predictions that it wouldn't, that the trees would all go brown and doom and gloom. But, and then maybe that's true in some parts of the state, but definitely here, it's literally gold. love for aspens kind of like mountains you almost feel like you have a relationship with it in a funny way it just feels like they speak to you in a way it sounds super cheesy but it's hard to describe you know I looked at them my whole life loved them just look at this golden view behind me here and that's not even as gold as they've gotten today because it's crazy that you know, this is their true colors, so to speak, you know. You know, as, they, as the trees stop producing chlorophyll, the real color of the leaves comes out. And that's just wild to me, you know. It's, you know, this is what the forests really look like in a way. Our view up ahead is very much starting to get dominated by Capitol. Capitol is one of the most infinite, infamous mountains in Colorado for being dangerous. I remember there was a particularly bad year on it a few years ago. It's definitely a uh, aggressive looking mountain. Another mountain in Colorado that I feel like does a very similar thing is a little bear kind of in a weird way similar looking mountain the capital has that aggressive look extremely unique to capital but also very mountainous very it's got that that pyramid shape wonderful looking mountain definitely looks a little dangerous though all right so we are definitely making progress, but maybe not moving as fast as we'd like. 
we have about 55 minutes until golden hour starts and uh, some amount of distance ahead of us. So I think we're gonna kinda put our heads, heads down and hike as fast as we can, get up there for as close to, with as much time before sunset as possible. So, Kemper just got a couple really sweet shots. Sunset is heating up. So we gotta keep moving to get to the lake before the sun actually goes down in uh, probably like what, like 20 minutes probably? Yeah, I think we, we're gonna be close. We're probably gonna be heartbreakingly close, mm. right? They're heartbreakingly or insanely dramatically close. We'll see what we're able to do. We're probably Probably a half mile away. Um, yeah, maybe not even that. There's capital. We're very close, but unfortunately, I think we uh, we may have missed. We missed sunset. We missed sunset. I got some shots down lower that were nice. Would have been nice to get the lake, but we'll get we'll get Astro. We'll get sunrise. Sunrise. I don't know how much sunrise hits this side. It says that sunrise sun comes up from over that direction. So yeah, I don't know. Definitely but be cool. It's all right. We pushed crazy hard. My heart rate's just now coming down a little. Yeah. Whew. All right. Well, I think we're probably going to go find a camp spot, and uh, then we will uh, kind of get camp set up while we still have some light. So that'll be fun. And then uh, after that, it will be. Time to shoot some Astro, maybe even after a little bit of dinner. On a uh, positive note, it is gorgeous up here. The texture, I remember thinking this last time, but the texture all across Capitol is just insane. And the snow is adding so much to that. So this is our camp. There is a... Uh, Kemper's tent right there. And my tent is snuggled up right underneath this tree right here. You know, backpacking is something that I think has a very similar rotation. You know, you get on the trail, start hiking, everything's great. And then you get a little ways in and you start realizing how slow you're going because of how heavy the packs are. And you know, before you know it, you're 20 minutes late for sunrise for sunset. That looked really nice. But then you get your tent set and you realize that all I have to do after Astro and dinner is come back here and sleep in this tent right here. And that's when you fall in love with backpacking again. Uh, Kemper headed on out, so I probably better get out there and join him. <sighs> Whew. So, that whole episode was a little bit of a wake-up call for me as far as my cardio is. I pushed harder than I have in a long time and just, it was not what I am used to being able to do now. Granted, it is not totally my 
you know, not, I don't guess my fault. You know, it's just been an interesting year. finished shooting my astro shot I'm very very pleased um, Toby's probably gonna throw it on he's either threw it on or it's gonna throw it on in a second but the Milky Way is just to the right of Capitol the stars are are bright but the moon is coming and the moon's gonna ruin the exposure we won't be able to expose for the sky and the foreground correctly anymore I can already tell so I'm glad I got some blue hour shots to kind of Make sure, but it's encroaching, so... Gosh, it's bright. I mean, it's probably because our eyesight is so... Um, adjusted. Adjusted, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not anymore. <laughs> this light bearing down on me, but... So, yeah, I mean, Anna, I'm very pleased, you know? I guess I could get home and, and be disappointed, but... I don't think so. I, I think that that's a good one. I think, I, I think I've got a good one, so... But uh, we're going to head back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to enjoy my ginger tea here that is literally saving my life. And um, uh, then we're gonna head back to the tents and get a nice, oh wow, it's only 8.36. No what wrong. in the world? So. Well, it is the next morning, Let's see Capital behind me here, looking beautiful. It's definitely colder than I've experienced in a while. Um, I'm wearing four layers at the moment. Um, and uh, Kemper's over there, he's got his puffy on. There he is. Oh, that was pretty good. Overall, I think. Um, kind of restless night for me, but I think Kemper did okay. Yeah, it was cold. Not used to it being, like, you know, it all depends on what you're kind of used to, but it's been hot and warm, you know, for so long that it's kind of interesting to get down into the 30s and my feet got a little cold. But I like my tent, not a lot of condensation. Yeah. So. This is the uh, Black Diamond, do you know the name? I do not know. We Distance will. something? We will flash it up. Distance something with the trekking poles. It says it's two people. <laughs> I cannot imagine fitting two people in there. And well, certainly not any equipment. <clears throat> but uh, this is my tent. It is a Kelty. It is very, very narrow inside. Um, but you have a vestibule too. I do. I have a vestibule. Got kind of my setup over here. We're gonna head down to the lake, I think. Maybe make some breakfast, eh? down to the lake to um, grab some water. We're gonna make some food. Because of where the sun s rises, you can see there's some really nice color behind me over here. Um, but over here, besides a little bit of light you saw in the photos, touching the top of Capitol here, um, there's not a lot going on over here. So we're gonna actually head back um, to camp eat some food, pack everything up. All right, so we're a ways down the trail. Probably remember, we were here yesterday. Here's the view. Capital, Kemper's grabbing a quick shot. 
and I left. They're actually Kemper's trekking poles. Right there, overnight. So glad that we uh, caught them on the way out. I think we'll keep heading down. I'm excited to get back to the Aspens and uh, check out what the lighting's doing down there. So we made it back to the car. We did? After quite a while. It actually felt like a more distance on the way back. Well, this trail is, it kind of is up and down both ways. Those ups get you. Yeah, especially when you got when you're, full backpacking gear. Also, I feel like your shoulders just, they know when you're a mile away from the car and they just give up a mile soon. Well, uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, definitely give us a subscribe and we'll be uh, back out soon, I bet. All right, so as kind of a PS to this whole vlog, I was planning on coming to the Aspen area with my family just a few days later and we decided to come back to this trailhead and we missed out on sunset last time but we got sunset of a lifetime this time. I'm really, really, really excited. So I would like to introduce you to two people who are very important to me. Hi. This is Emily. And then in there is almost done with this day, <laughs> Ren. Hey, Ren. Say, say hi, hi, Ren. Say hi, Ren. <gasps> She's so sleepy. So these two characters are going to be around a lot more. It's amazing it's taken this long to actually one of those things <laughs> which is a shame but sunset of a really really good sunset and um it looks like it's dimming down and we're gonna go stay in aspen which is a little nicer than what toby and i did <laughs> bougie, bougie, bougie. <laughs> so all right thanks for watching